What's going on YouTube? So today we're here to look at VRS's Quick Stand Pro. So we have the VRS Quick Stand Pro today and this is a case I've been really excited to check out. A friend of mine had this case and after I picked it up I said oh yes I'm definitely going to get this case. So I went ahead and picked it up and we're going to do an unboxing and I'm going to take a, a good close look at this so everyone knows what they may be purchasing. Now I do like these VRS cases. Now this particular case is a matte black. I do believe there's other colors but I wasn't able to get them so that's uh, pretty interesting but most of them are, are this matte black. Now this Quick Stand Pro is uh, designed by VRS but it is made in China. Now this has a, a premium made with high quality materials. It's actually made with two different type of materials. It is extra lightweight. It provides maximum protection. It is a slim and form fitted construction. It has an anti shock cushions to it. And it also has extra button sensitivity. It's got different cutouts there for it. So that's really good to know. This thing is very basic, but it's very good design. I really do like how minimal this design of this case is. So let's, let me get zoomed back out here. I've been super busy at work. So I got a lot of, a lot of Z Fold 3 and Galaxy Watch 4 videos, among other things coming out. So definitely stay tuned. I'm going to combine a lot of these cases and try some different things out for everybody. Let's see what we get in this package here. Usually they give you some sort of little cards and info. Oh, okay. Well, we have the oh, we have the S Pen. This is a data sheet. Kind of shows you both, both. So it's kind of recommending where to put your strips and all this. Now this case fits really well. If I would have put any strips on this, it would only be like one or two strips. You guys, this thing, it fits super tight. So I'm not sure I would even add any. Now, if you're worried about it, you can add them. If this is the only case you'll ever use, you know, I kind of like swapping my cases out from time to time. So when I do a lot of these videos, so I don't add any and it works just fine. I don't have any problem with the cases coming off or breaking or anything like that, but these tabs are really nice. I do like I do like the easy pull off feature that they got on there. So you can just sit there and pull them off and add them as, as you need. They give you a lot of them so you can pull them off several times and reapply them. Now this is what I want to see right here. So it says it's for the Galaxy Z Fold series. And then we have a second case here. We get zoomed in here and let's see what we have. You guys know I'm going to go right up on it. I'm going to show you all the little details the other reviewers don't really want to point out. So this is a two-piece back set. It's probably actually probably more than two pieces. This is where the hinge is. I'm really curious of what type of material they're using under there for the hinge. There's the air cushion right there. So they got a pocket of air in there so when the phone hits kind of squeezes it back out and try to squeezes it in and absorbs a shock now, I've not actually done a test with this but it seems to work pretty good most manufacturers really do use that it kind of cushions it now this piece inside here is a softer rubber material and it's much more flexible so and it appears to be pressed into the outer plastic hard shell plastic so now when you look at this you can see the corners there there's the kickstand it is pretty nice I would like to actually take this apart I may actually take it apart and show you all what's inside of it see what type of see if it has a metal hinge in there and then around the camera is part of that softer material and it's actually all flexible on the corners all the way around the camera so when you touch it it's actually going to protect your camera lenses, which I really like that. Not a lot of them do that. There's a couple of them that do that. And then these little feet on the sides and the corners here, those are all part of that. Now this is a solid, just a solid piece of plastic. 
Now this is where I might want to add one or two strips if you guys are permanently going to keep it on there. But like I said, it's a very tight fit. One thing I do notice about this particular case is this large bevel cut out here. And it acts as a guide for your finger. If it's your phone's in your pocket or something, you can reach in there, hit that bevel, unlock it, and have your phone unlocked before you even take it out. Or if you reach over and you don't even have to look at your phone. You could just feel for that bevel and it'll kind of guide your finger right into that spot. So... I really do like the way this case fits. It snaps on there nice and tight, so you really wouldn't need many stickers on there at all. But you may just want to add one or two. Depends on how long, you know, how long you'd like to keep this case on there. I, I've been actually enjoying using, I use several different cases, so I'm going to do, I'm going to do a few more mashup cases, but like when I'm working outside in the garage or I'm doing other things, I try to put on a different case, keep my nicer case is nice i don't know if anyone else really does that but you know these cases are expensive so i should really try to take care of them as much as i take care of the phone so that may be just a an option or an idea for some of y'all but man this thing really fits good it's so slim i really do like how it fits it's nice and tight i like that you really don't need any stickers guys but if you'd like to add a couple go ahead it ain't it really ain't gonna hurt anything Wow, this thing is nice and slim. It feels really good. Get these fingerprints off there. You know the Popo is always looking for me, so I want them to get a freebie. All right, let's see these cutouts, guys. So that looks really good. So whenever you lay your finger on there, you can instantly, it'll guide it right to the scanner or the volume button. So I really like this. You know, you don't have to kind of fumble around after you do it once or twice. Your finger kind of just slides right into place, so that is really sharp. So that's a really good bonus of this. I really like how slim fitting this is. This really is slim. It feels really good. Now this feels, this case right here feels like it doesn't even have a kickstand on it, which I really like that. And this is the angle it sits at, which is really good. I like this angle. Now, I typically would never really use that at, on a side like this, but there is a few times maybe I would. Now, I use this phone like when I'm in the shower or whatever, so that's a time when I would have the TP out like that possibly. When I'm not really viewing it, I just want to keep it up off the surface there. Now, let's try and look at, see this angle of this kickstand. Now it is a little bit upright, a little taller than the other ones I've, I've checked out. And that may be good or bad. So that's the angle right there. So definitely it's not completely upright, but it's not as low as the other ones. So let's see what it looks like right here. Oh, that's not a bad viewing angle right there. Yeah, that looks great. I like that. It's got a little tip factor to it if you're probably tapping the top of the screen but I would say for viewing like videos and social media maybe playing a, a, a different game matter of fact let me just load up a simple game here let's see what we got let's see how it does when I'm just sitting there pressing on it let me just do a quick little quick challenge here Now I really do, I really do like these stands for doing this type of stuff when I'm at work, I'm at lunch, I'm on break, you know, when we're going out to eat or something, or I'm in the kitchen playing music, watching videos. So, you know, having a stand like this is super ideal here. And it's not doing bad at all. I'm not really pressing too hard on it. And it seems to be doing well that the phone is sliding around a little bit, but I do have a very slick surface here. But it does feel really good. It's very comfortable to look at, at this angle. I wasn't sure that I thought that angle might be a little bit too extreme, but it's actually, you know, it's actually pretty good. Yeah, I like it. Seems to be fitting pretty good here. This is just a little brain exercise type of game here, so. And I'm not going to make it, but I'm just going to have to go ahead and pick. I don't have enough to clear 
more more rows so there we go but it's very nice i do like this angle now let me get zoom back out here so i do really recommend this case it's very slim it fits good the cutouts are one of the, it has better cutouts for your finger than than most of the phones like i said i'm definitely gonna do a mashup review of some of the other cases I got and see what we can come up with. I'm really excited maybe to get a hinge on here, maybe use the S Pen. I do, I do use my S Pen quite a bit. I would like to use it more if it was inside, but we have to kind of deal with these cases. Now let me go ahead and see if this thing will fit flat on the surface here. Now it's not perfectly flat, but look at this. It's just got a little wobble. That's not bad at all. And this case is a little more or less expensive than the the higher end cases so you're really going to get a lot of a lot of case for your money here i am pretty impressed like i said y'all really like the way this looks and feels cutouts are great the hinge seems pretty solid i may actually take this hinge apart and show y'all what's inside wonder if it has like a metal slide under there But you guys stay tuned for more videos. I was super busy this past month with work, but I'm back on it. And we have a lot of good content coming out. So look at that. It's just nice. The fingerprint scanner is a big thing for me. have to have access to that. Definitely working really good. I do like the profile of this case. It is actually really slimming. And I do enjoy using my my phone without a case at all, but this one here is really minimal. Very basic, very clean. And I do like the back of that look. It's got that classic VRS. Uh, let me get flipped over here. That classic VRS design with the ridges on there. You know instantly, you know, what manufacturer this one is. You know, it looks it's just got that very clean look to it. Almost futuristic type of type of thing there. I like the camera protection on here. So this is a good overall case, guys. So, you know, like I say, if you're in the market for a kickstand case, this case may be for you. I'm going to drop a link below. Really I appreciate y'all, you know, watching these videos and giving me all these comments, a lot of good suggestions and feedback. But until next time, I'll see y'all later.